Imagine, if you will, that on your next vacation, you go to a fancy hotel, but you can't leave because we surrounded it with a moat. While you're inside with roughly 3,000 other people, we move the entire building at great expense, all while you mill around a 100-square-foot room. Then with you still inside, we move it right back. You might wonder, why would anyone do such a thing? Well, wonder no longer, just experience it with Royal Horton Cruise Line. I'm Roger, and I invite you to spend a week or two aboard one of my floating megastructures, doing a bunch of stuff that you could do just about anywhere else. But we want you doing it more expensively and with more difficulty on a big boat. Well, everything's more fun on a boat because it's a boat. Oh, sure, it is a boat in that it might catch fire and sink. But you aren't really going boating. This thing is so big you can't even feel that you're on a ship. You're surrounded by an ocean you can't touch. Though if you like swimming, you're welcome to hop in the pool to inhale a little communal pee. Hey, no splashing! There really isn't room for splashing. I heard there are tons of activities to do on cruises. Oh, sure there are. Eat seven times a day, inflating yourself with room temperature shellfish till food poisoning plops you on the toilet for the rest of your voyage. Ignore your children for an entire week and let them go all Lord of the Flies in the kids' zone. Head to the casino to steadily bleed more money on top of what you already paid till you don't remember where you are or even what your name is. But there are shows, right? Uh, music, comedy, magic. You know where else has shows? Literally any city on Earth. Only elsewhere when a performer's awful, you don't have to worry about bumping into them again tomorrow and the next day. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed my lukewarm political takes and my Cartman impression. I'll be here all week. And so will you. Uh, I was hoping for a luxurious vacation like the Titanic. Luxurious? We market cruises as a luxury to people for whom any vacation is a luxury. Which is, to be fair, a whole lot of people. But no actual rich people waste their time in these disease-incubating floating dormitories. I got a new strain from a passenger last week. They're calling it hepatitis ampersand? But, uh, but, but Titanic! Yeah. Titanic over a hundred years ago. You know why people took cruises then? Because a ship was the only route from one coast to another. But if they could just fly across the ocean in a few hours and then spend the save time on some other cooler rich person stuff, they would. They didn't have cruises back then that left New York and came back to New York one week later because that would be stupid. But what about the cruises that do go places? Like the ones that go from island to island? Oh, those are better. Sure, it's the least immersive and most superficial way of visiting a place. Just don't think too hard about how much the people there hate you. See, tourists annoy people everywhere, but locals put up with it because tourists drop bags of money on hotels and restaurants. Cruise passengers, they crowd the streets during the day, window shopping in their hideous novelty tees, but get their beds and booze from us. So the town is lucky if the cruise folks even buy a postcard. A ship comes and locals see a terrifying sea scraper ready to pound their shores and stretch out their canals like something out of a disaster movie. Like Titanic? Like some other disaster movie. Ships are nasty in the open water too, belching out a continent's worth of poison gases, spewing sewage more concentrated and deadly than a million sharks could poop out. Did you know Royal Horton was fined tens of millions of dollars for dumping oily waste? And we're not even a factory. We're just a floating hotel with really small rooms. I still... Where's... Hey, where's my... I wasn't alone, was oh, I? Oh, gee. Looks like we lost someone. That happens sometimes. A lot of incidents happen on cruises, actually. If you have any crime to report, just tell it to the nearest uniformed authority figure. But just to be clear, they're not cops. They work for us. When we're at sea, there are no laws. That can't possibly be true. Oh, it's truer than you think.
Royal Horton is incorporated in Liberia, so we don't have to pay minimum wage. That room attendant cleaning your luxurious cabin, we pay them $500 a month. Wait, what? Listen, I just like the idea of a cruise, okay? I just want to go someplace where I can relax, someplace that'll take care of my every single need. Oh, then please book a room with Royal Horton. And when you get back, make sure to visit Horton's Health Urgent Care, where you'll get the best care for that bug you caught on board. <laughs> Goo. Oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I've been Captain Roger. And the rumors are true. I, I control, control the, the whales, whales and the tides. tides.